guys, welcome back. We're your average watchers, and this is the second episode of our new show. Yep. And we actually kind of have a name for it now. Yeah. It's yeah. It's called the wrap up. Yeah. We have a name. It's special. So, for those curious, it's because you know after a movie finishes filming, they call it's it. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. So it's the wrap up. Yay! Anyway, so but yeah, jump right into this. Matt, what's our first topic today? Our first topic. It's a good question. It's Black Panther. Black Panther. I can't believe it's even still playing. Some yeah, places. somewhere it's still playing because it just officially crossed seven hundred million dollars domestic domestically. What the hell? Where are you still playing? Six I have out. it. I literally have had it over there, and it has still been in the plastic for like two months. It's yeah. been on DVD, Blu-ray stuff for About like two months. two months. Yeah, it's still playing somewhere. I, I, yeah, I don't even know. But good know. job. I mean, the movie's great. Yeah, it's a great. So movie. I mean, congratulations to the team and the yeah. actors and everybody. So good job, guys. Woohoo! Congrats to Ryan Coogler. Yes, man. he killed it. Yes, he did. <laughs> All right. Next up is James Gunn is not coming back to the MCU anytime soon. I mean, it's not confirmed. It anything, doesn't sound like it. But from what it appears, James Gunn will not be returning to film Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Which is going to be interesting in the next yeah. coming months to see if... See what the, the actors teams, say about that, because... Yeah. They, some of them have said that they most might... Not come back. Might not come back, yeah. At least from what it seems. Yeah, from a couple people. So no, no obvious, like... News yet, but yeah. from what it sounds like, it's not great. Yeah, it doesn't sound In fact, great. there's a little tweet by Kurt Russell to add to yeah. the story that uh, he's saying everyone's a little too sensitive nowadays, which I agree. Get over it, people. All right, next, next up. up. Predator. Gets an entire character cut out. Yeah, they cut an entire character out. For runtime purposes. Yeah, think of it basically just me now. That's basically what happened. Yeah. That would suck. Yeah. Edward James Olmo is the guy's name. Like, I don't know him. Like, he's one of those actors. By the way, I don't know if anyone else has had this problem. He's one of those actors that you see in fucking everything. But you don't know But you just is. don't know their name. Like, there were some people that were like that until, like, recently. Yeah. Like... Iris Elba. Yeah. I never knew his name, yeah. but he was in like fucking everything. Yeah. Mark Strong. He's in fucking everything, but I never knew his name until Kingsman, maybe. So yeah, he's one of those guys, and he's and he's completely cut out of the movie. Yeah. Which he sucks because he's he's exed. He he's had some decent roles. I, yeah, I don't know so. off the top of my head, but I'm kind of yeah. wondering how long this movie's about to be. Then yeah, they're cutting cutting punch entire out. characters. Yeah. And. Again, bringing back to last week's issue with reshoots again a month out from the movie release. That is fucking terrifying. Sorry for the cursing, but man, I really want this movie to be good. Uh, it's, but it's, it's wor really worrying. It's a, it's a Hail Mary pass for me at this moment. Yeah. At this point. So, with how much just came out in the last couple weeks of yeah. that. Topic number four. Curious one. We're getting a Michael Bay horror movie. He's uh, he's done I don't know how many horror movies now, and they've all not been great. What are some horror movies he's done? I don't actually are know. Are you the ready for it. this, buddy? Did the remake of Friday the Thirteenth? Did the remake of Nightmare on Elm Street? <sighs> the only good one that he has done lately, or in the last however long he's done horror movies, was the OG remake of Texas Chainsaw. That was it. The OG remake of Tension. Okay. Because there's been more remakes. Yeah. Yeah. The first 2003 remake oh. of okay. Texas Chainsaw. I got it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. But man, that's not a good That's time. it. Also, it's basically The Ring, but instead of a video, it's a podcast. Yeah, it should be. What the fuck? That's going to be real trippy. I, I'm, I'm really confused about it's that. Be weird. But apparently it's based on a short... And it's like Evil Jim, Evil yeah. Jimmy, or something like that. Yeah, it's uh, I Meet have no Jimmy. idea. Yeah, Mean yeah, Jimmy. Yeah, Meet Jimmy. Is Meet the, Jimmy. That's Meet the movie title. the movie title. Yeah. So it's be weird. Yeah. Who knows? But apparently it's happening. 
Yeah, so. And Michael Bay, knowing him, there might be an explosion or two. I'm guaranteeing there's... I mean, oh, and we have did, After and, Effects on Mac, and, by the way. You should ex include maybe. an explosion there's, just for that. There's also The Purge. He did the first purge. Really? Yeah. I didn't realize he did the first yeah, purge. He produced the first I know he purge. was part he's been a part of the purge series for he's a long time. Produced the he produced the first purge. Yeah. Hmm. He may have produced more than He's just probably that one. produced the rest. But, so So I wouldn't be surprised. That's that one, so I'm yeah. not necessarily looking forward to that. What's yeah. up next, buddy? Well, next up, apparently, Space Jam 2 is still happening. Yeah. Why? It's a good question. I'm really curious what they're going to do with it because Space Jam is amazing. But why? No. But no. why? I'm not seeing it. No. I'm not seeing it. Like, if I, you're going to no. do anyone, do someone that isn't LeBron. Because honestly, like, I'm perfect. Like, I'm sure LeBron's cool and all and stuff like that. It. But I would think, like, overall, if you get anyone. To like be on par with like Michael Jordan and the like history thing, go with like Shaq or Kobe. I feel like they'd be fun. Yeah, but they're trying to have fun. They're trying to get to like. They're trying to. They're trying to keep it popular, mainstream popular, yeah. stuff. I'm also worried because like the animation style probably isn't going to be any good, knowing the way they've gone. Unless they like keep the legit animation style, I don't know. Yeah. It's really iffy. That's but, that's my vote. I'm not even like. But that's not even really that. the main news. It's that they the a director. They have a director lined up. He's not official yet, obviously, because I mean we'll find out when it's actually official. Yeah. But he's lined up, and hopefully he takes the deal. I mean, I'd like to see the movie made. Sure. I don't. But don't touch I Space highly, Jam. Yeah, I highly doubt don't it's going to be Jam. on it's par like, with the original. That's just that's just something you don't touch. Yeah. It's just something you don't mess with. Why? 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 Anyway. Okay, next up. I believe is Bruce Willis. He's in the news. Yeah. Man. Again, why are, why are we still going back to old stuff? Hollywood, why are you running out of so many ideas that we have to keep getting either prequels or sequels? Yeah. So... Haven't you guys learned anything? You're not making money off of the... Well, they, the they, they are. Hearts. I don't feel like Die Hards... I feel like they're making money. I don't money. feel like the Die Hards have made them I feel like they're making money. money. I don't know. We haven't really checked. Because, as you can guess, we're getting another Die Hard movie. And this time, it's a prequel to the yeah. original Die Hard. So Bruce yeah. Willis is now going to find an actor to play his younger self before mm -hmm. Die Hard. Hopefully not Joseph Gordon-Levitt again, because they worked nothing alike. That was just a weird casting decision from yeah, Looper. Was weird. Um, I mean, it was a great movie, but yeah, no, that was weird. I don't know who they're gonna get. Yeah, I mean, can you think of anyone off the top of your head that would be worth it? I mean, I guess if you want to go easy, just go Joe, J, Joseph Gordon-Levitt again. But I feel like he's kind of done with acting. I think he like he hasn't really been in anything. Now that I think about it, like legitimately, maybe. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know. Maybe uh, what's his name? Uh, Chris Pratt, maybe. Yeah, I could see Chris Pratt doing it. I guess I could see that. But he's too much involved in Disney, yeah. so he's not gonna be getting time to yeah. do that. Though, isn't Die Hard technically a Fox property now? It is a Fox property, I'm pretty sure. So Disney does technically own it. If it is that, a Fox property. That I might be who I'd that. ask. That might be that yeah. might be who I'd ask. Just because <laughs> Can you imagine being Chris Pratt and being like, ah, I got Marvel. I got Jurassic Park. Now I got I'm go possibly after, Die Hard. Now I'm gonna go after Die Hard. <laughs> Only thing left is Star Wars. Last well, and final news. This one actually kinda yeah. sounds lightweight interesting. So, if you guys know the story. There was a little bit of an issue with the McDonald's Monopoly one t one year. As in, uh, someone, someone somehow managed to get $24 million from selling fake pieces. Apparently. Yeah. And it was a cop. An ex-cop now, obviously. But there are movie rights for that story. 
And it's going to be currently produced, directed, I don't know exactly how. It's not, I thought it was written. I thought they were writing it. It's, they're in charge of it. Matt Damon and Ben Affleck are going to be a part of it. I could, I could, that could yeah. potentially be good. Yeah. I mean, they, they usually do pretty good movies. Yeah, especially when they're together. They like, they're, they're like a super duo almost. Yeah, they, they do kinda, really good. Kinda weird. So that, that's me could be really good and you know, let's, let's find out what they can do with it. Yeah. I so, trust them. I, I, I'm looking they, forward to it. It they, looks interesting. They've given me no, no reason not yeah. to trust what they do, but with the camera and with I mean, writing, it's, it's a so. weird concept to cover in a whole movie. Yeah. But it'll be interesting to see what they yeah, do with it. I'm really curious. We'll we'll see what happens with that. Anyway. And it's time for that time of the week. Or that part well, of the show. Well actually we're gonna add a new thing that I kinda oh, I right. did kinda that's mention. Right. Yes, yes. Which is also included with the thing I added randomly last week. Yep. So we have the highlight of the week. Yep. As well as the trailer breakdown of the week. Yep. Which is the same yeah. same thing. So this week. highlight and the trailer Top trailer of the week, obviously. Venom. Hell yes. Yeah. So, if you've not seen this trailer, we did a trailer reaction. It's awesome. It's I great. also found out who the other symbiote is. Oh. Yeah. Apparently, it's someone named Riot. So, yeah. Never never heard of Riot before. Uh, I, again, like I said in the trailer reaction, I don't know Venom. It looks at all. great. It looks, it looks awesome. fun. And I'm so happy yeah. that hopefully what we've been hearing. Is that they're going R rating? Yeah, there's so, still no actual confirmation, but we're, from if, what it if, sounds if like, if they go R rating with this, this could be huge, and yeah. it could be as big as Deadpool, maybe. Yeah. So now to go to the mainstay of the week. Box office. Box office gross. We were wrong. <laughs> oh boy, were we wrong. Boy, were we fucking <laughs> wrong. Yeah, we, we were off by one. We lot. went left field and we lost. <laughs> yeah, no. We 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 did the whole like shooting for the home run shot, pointing out. I pointed and we, and we I went I, I, down. I didn't even get to first base. Yeah, no. We were way off. But I was closer technically. So, so I went he gets me to buy him popcorn for the next movie. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> it's uh it was number do we do you want to go I mean, three two one? Well, last time I believe last time we went five four. Yeah, we went five four three two. We're not one. doing five. I, I mean, didn't, you didn't look up five, bro. Yeah, I did. You did. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, let's I, five. technically I looked up six because I wanted to cover all three of the new movies that came out. Okay. Well, go ahead and take it. So, away then. at the unfortunate number eight spot. Eight. Number eight. Okay. Yeah. So Ant Man and the Wasp, and something else did better than in two other movies. Technically, did better. Than the new Darkest Minds movie. I didn't even <sighs> see that. Yeah. Coming. I, I mean. It I only it made ten million dollars worldwide mm. on a thirty-four million dollar budget. That's gonna hurt. Yeah. Sorry, Fox. You lost Turns that out, one. advertising arrival in Stranger Things wasn't. They didn't help you. So number five is. So, before I do that, as you can tell, I I had to go take a picture. <laughs> My bad. So, number five, The Equalizer 2, with just under $9 million made. Okay. But, I mean, it's been in theaters for, like, three, no, it's, like, three weeks, I think. It's two. No, it's, like, three weeks now. Came out at, like, the very end of July. Number four, Mamma Mia 2. Yeah, I know, you don't want to see it. I know. You, you, you don't have to see it. Unless you take your mom, then you have to see it. Not see Yeah. So, Mamma Mia 2. Again, $9 million, just over it, so I rounded it down. Uh, has a domestic total of $91 million, so it's made its budget back, which was only 75 But oh, it's a worldwide are. total, $231 million for worldwide. Damn! Number three, The Spy Who Dumped Me. So I got that right. Yeah, you technically did get that right. It made $12 million. I did not get the money right. I got the yeah. spot right. Yeah, so twelve million dollars and a budget of forty million. Oh. Number two, where we were both wrong, unfortunately, Christopher Robin, and it only made twenty-five million domestically. Tough. I was yeah. like sixty million dollars off. Yeah. Yeah, I was only fifty. So, haha, <laughs> you're buying popcorns, eh? First number one, still holding that number one spot. Oh, Mission Impossible Fallout. 
With? With, domestically, $35 million. This weekend? Yeah, this weekend. Okay. That's pretty good. So, with another week going on, we have another game of predictions and another bucket of popcorn and cheese oh, man, I hope I don't to pay for. Again. So, coming in, for me, number three is going to be Christopher Robin. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be a a light weekend, I think, just mainly yeah. because kids are going back to school this week. Yeah, what so this it's week? literally going to be, I at think, a very yeah, at least here. So, so. I think it's very going to be a slow weekend. Yeah. So I think Christopher Robin's going to stay into the top three just because I think the other movies don't have a lot of push behind them. Yeah. I think number two, I'm going to stick with Mission Impossible. I don't think that's going to leave the top three at all. Yeah, probably um, not, but I'm hopeful. Just, just for, um, you know, again, with how much there's not being anything pushed. Yeah. So I think that's going to make about 26, 27 mil, somewhere around yeah. there. You said 27, yeah. Um, and then for my number one pick, I think it's going to be the Meg. I mm -hmm. think the Meg is going to take it just because Jason Statham is a big-time action star and people yeah. want to see him f punch a shark in the face. Yeah. And not just a regular shark. Who doesn't shark. want to see Jason Statham punch a shark in the and face? And not just any any shark. A megalodon. A megalodon. Also and, Dwight's in this movie. Yeah. And yeah. also... Oh, Dwight. Also a bunch of other random bunch people. Of Lee Bing Bing. Yeah. I love to say that name. Anyway, so those are my top three. And I think, yeah. I think the Meg is going to come in at about 30 mil. Yep. So, my top three. It's not much different from his. Um... Number three, I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt to Black Klansman, just because it's got that name of Jordan Peele behind it. I want it to be it. good. I really, well, I want it to be good, but I also want it to do good, because, again, it's a Jordan Peele movie. Yeah. It's the guy that and did, Spike yeah, Jordan Peele and Spike Lee. So. So, I'm looking forward to it. I'm expecting about $15 million, give or take. You really think everything now. is going to be below that? Uh, oh, most man. likely. Oof, that's going to be a bad yeah. weekend. Uh, it's not going to be a great weekend for the box office, I don't think. Number two, I'm going to give it to Christopher Robin. Though, now that I think about it, with the school coming back, mainly because I don't have a kid, so I don't really, I kind of forgot about that. Um, I'm going to go a little lower than Zach. I'm going to say about $17 million. Again, we'll see. Yeah. And then this is where I kind of... Uh, well, actually, no. I, I'm pretty much exactly where you are. I went 25 million for the Meg. So and yeah, he, you're yeah. telling me I, I'm, I'm, I'm going crazy is here. Drop under 15 million. I think it will. Oh, I think it could. Boy. The also, stories. if you like what we're talking about, yeah. Here's what you do. You go down there. If you're not a part of Team Average, if you're not a part of our team and our family. You go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Why do you hit that? That way you become part of Team Average. You become mm -hmm. part of the family. And once you're part of the family, you're always part of the family. But also when you do that, you're going to hit that uh, little notification bell. Mm -hmm. Being that, that way you find out every time we get a new video. Yeah. And now we have a set schedule. Yeah. It's a schedule of a, videos just for you. So yeah. that is what's going on. Also, drop a comment. Let us know if you guys liked what we talked about. What was your favorite thing you talk we talked about? Did you or do you want to mo know more? So you're gonna go look it up. If you find anything that you want us to talk about, drop it in the comments. Let us know because exactly. I'm not a mind reader, guys. I can I can do a lot of things, but reading minds are not one of them. Yeah. I mean, what can he? Do, 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 do. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys as always for watching, but again, I need you to do me a solid favor here. Share, 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 share. And share again. And share again. Thank share you. it with everyone. Yeah. Share it with your friends at work. Share it with yeah. your people. Share we, it with We've had an amazing amount of growth in the last, last month and a half to two months. I mean, we yeah. went from like six people to six people. We're 20. now over 20. We're just so you, over twenty, so you know, you guys are doing yeah. you guys are doing great things with us and yeah, you know, you. we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep, you know, pumping these videos out like crazy. Also, if you haven't seen it since it is Monday, yeah. maybe you were busy all weekend. We, we Matt here hmm? was in our first ever episode 
of Friday Night Fight Night. Yes. Where he took on my cousin. No. Now, you have to go and see Fight Night. Now. Yeah. now, it's also, that's a tournament. So we're going to be pumping out those fights for at least a month yeah. of, uh, of videos. That yeah. we, I mean, over a month because that's just the first round is about a month. Yeah. So if you guys, you know, make sure you guys are watching those because I'm next. Yeah. I'm fighting our friend Javi. Yep. So I'm going to kick his Woo. ass hopefully. Yeah. Anyway, that's next Friday. Anyway, mm -hmm. so thank you guys as always for watching and coming and hanging out with us. And, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. this is Monday. This is we'll see fun. you guys. We'll see you guys uh, Thursday. Thursday? Thursday? Yeah, Thursday works. Thursday works. We'll see you guys Thursday. Cool. Love see you. See you guys.